Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today, I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 35 Randy Orton figure. Now, this is Randy's latest Elite figure, and they gave him uh, buff arms, which is awesome. And finally, a different color tight, uh, which is really cool. So, I was really excited to get it. He has a new head scan as well. Not sure how I really feel about that one, but uh, if you want a really updated Orton, unfortunately he doesn't have his hand tape yet, but you could always do a hand swap with one of his newer basics if need be. Um, I recommend picking up this one, and you can get them on ringsidecollectibles.com, amazon.com, Target, Walmart, Toys R Us. This set hit everywhere. Uh, it's even at Walgreens, I think, too, so lots of places to find it if you're still looking for them. Uh, but that being said, let's take a look at him fresh in the packaging. As you can see, it says highly detailed action figure, series 35, there's a WWE logo. Here's Orton in a standard pose with his Evolution shirt. It says series 35, Randy Orton, there's an image of Orton here. It says includes entrance shirt. And there's a Elite Collection logo at the bottom. Looking on this side, it says series 35, Randy Orton, there's a picture of him there. And then this side is a cool artwork that I always like. And looking at the back of the box, there's a larger image of Orton. There's Elite logo, it says Randy Orton, and it's based on his Extreme Rules 2014 attire. And there's some info about him there. It says Recreate the Action of WWE. Also in the set is Triple H, Diego, Fernando, Luke Harper, and Earthquake. And it says First Time the Line. It says Compete in these Superstar Rings. Pictured as a Raw Basic Ring and SmackDown Basic Ring. And company information at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 35 Randy Orton figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a really cool figure. I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite Ortons. I'm not too big on the head scan though. I'll probably end up swapping it later on when a better one comes out. I don't know, I just feel like they could never get his head scanned that great. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, let's take a look at his Evolution shirt first, which is really cool. It's his Evolution, and it has him, Triple H, and Batista on it, which is really cool. It's a cloth shirt, which is really nice that they did it. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the cloth shirts, they have Velcro in the back. And it just fits on him very easily. You just stick his arms through the sleeves, and then you Velcro it back up. There you go. That's a shirt. You can see a picture of him in it at the end of the review, but I didn't want to do it yet. Um, but anyway, here's his latest head scan. It's a little cheesy smile. I think the smile looks kind of silly. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty good. The head, I mean, overall. The ball jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. And he has his torso. He has a typical elite ab crunch joint. He has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. He has swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints. He has black wrist tape on both wrists. He has a swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint that goes up and down. And on this hand he actually has his finger tape which is really cool too. Um, but what I was saying earlier is they did give him thicker arms which is nice because his older figures are very scrawny looking. You can see all this cool tattoo work as well, which always makes his figures stand out. And then there's the one on his back, and then there's all the tattoo work on this arm as well. So very detailed. Looking at his lower torso, he has a swivel waist joint. He has his blue tights with his Orton designs, which are really cool. There's Orton on the back. There's more designs there. He has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel thigh joints, double jointed knees, covered by these thin black rubber knee pads with wrinkles and other padding designs to make them look authentic. And they do not restrict his movements. You could pose him really well for RKOs or whatever else you want to do. Um, he has a swivel boot joint. You can see the laces and wrinkle designs in his tall black boots. And he has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down as well. And he has a little ankle pivot type joint as well, like all elites have. 
then yeah, that's Elite 35 Orton. It's a simple figure, but it's a nice updated version of him as he's been long overdue. I just hope one day they get a really good head scan out of him because I am not thrilled with any to this very date. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.